most exciting piece of this, of this telescope, of this remarkable instrument we put in space, is finding things that we didn't expect. Humanity's exploration of the cosmos has just reached new heights with the James Webb Space Telescope. Launched on December 25, 2021, this groundbreaking instrument has already delivered stunning images of the universe. Every image we're taking now, we see galaxies everywhere. Enriching our understanding of space. However, a recent discovery has astonished scientists. It's because we know how far away it is, uh, and we know the typical age of the stars in the galaxy, so we know a lot. A distant extraterrestrial city's lights have been detected over seven trillion miles away from Earth. What could this revelation mean? Is it a cosmic anomaly or a message from beyond? Join us as we explore James Webb's discovery of bright lights in the far reaches of space. City lights from New Planet Discovered. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has just dropped a scientific bombshell that's making waves not only in the scientific community, but also among the general public. The JWST, with its high-tech wizardry, has detected a mind-blowing spectacle, a dazzling cluster of lights coming from a planet that's a whopping 7 trillion miles away from Earth. The distance is approximately about 1140 light years. Scientists, armed with their spectral analysis tool, are quite intrigued because they believe the distant planet might have the possibility of hosting extraterrestrial life. This revelation seems like a plot twist, shaking up our traditional ideas about space and also sparking a rush of curiosity about the possibility of otherworldly inhabitants beyond our solar system. The powerhouse that made his discovery possible is called the James Webb Space Telescope. JWST is not just an average space telescope, but a game changer. Designed to outshine its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, this space expert was carefully crafted to cut through cosmic dust clouds and see into the farthest corners of the universe, revealing hidden monumental wonders and knowledge about the origin and evolution of everything out there. The JWST flaunts a huge 6.5-meter diameter primary mirror made up of 18 hexagonal mirror segments, all coated in gold plates, beryllium. It's like the adornment of the cosmic world. The equipment was armed with advanced infrared cameras, the near-infrared camera, and the mid-infrared instrument. This space guru can snapshots and gather data across a mind-boggling range of infrared wavelengths. It's just like giving scientists a front row seat to a universe's blockbuster show. The JWST doesn't just rely on blings and cameras, it sports a high-tech five-layer sunshine made of Captain and other space age materials. This shield acts like a hero cape, protecting its sensitive instruments from the scorching heat and blinding light of the sun. The telescope's operating temperature is a fascinating minus 266.75 degrees Celsius, essential for its infrared observations. There are some other recent discoveries made by this space telescope, at the same time as the farthest dazzling cluster to Earth. What are these discoveries? What secrets do they hold? Latest discoveries of the JWST. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has captured the largest image to date, an enormous mosaic of Stefan's Quintet that covers roughly one-fifth of the moon's diameter. It contains over 150 million pixels and is made up of nearly 1,000 separate image files. Webb's near-infrared camera, NIRCam, and mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, captured a visual grouping of five galaxies. Webb's powerful infrared vision and extremely high spatial resolution reveal previously unknown details about this galaxy group. The image features sparkling clusters of millions of young stars, as well as starburst regions of new star formation. Gravitational interactions are causing sweeping tails of gas, dust, and stars to emerge from several galaxies. Most dramatically, James Webb's MIRI instrument captures massive shock waves as one of the galaxies, NGC 73 18b, collides with the cluster. The regions surrounding the central pair of galaxies are represented by the colors red and gold. 
This composite NIRCAM Myri image employs two of the three Myri filters to highlight and distinguish the hot dust and structure within the galaxy. Myri detects a distinct color difference between the dust in galaxies and the shock waves between interacting galaxies. The image processing specialists at the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore chose to highlight this distinction by assigning MIRI data the distinct yellow and orange colors, as opposed to the blue and white colors assigned to stars at NRCAM wavelengths. The five galaxies of Stefan's Quintet are collectively known as the Hickson Compact Group 92, HCG 92, despite being called a quintet. Only four of the galaxies are truly close together and engaged in a cosmic dance. The fifth and leftmost galaxy, NGC 7320, is well in the foreground when compared to the other four. NGC 7320 is located 40 million light years from Earth, while the other four galaxies, NGC 73117, NGC 7318A, NGC 73180B, and NGC 73119 are approximately 290 million light years away. This is still relatively close in cosmic terms when compared to galaxies billions of light years away. The study of these relatively nearby galaxies allows scientists to gain a better understanding of structures seen in a much larger universe. This proximity allows astronomers to witness the merging and interactions of galaxies, which are critical to galaxy evolution as a whole. Scientists rarely see in such exquisite detail how interacting galaxies cause star formation in each other, or how the gas in these galaxies is disturbed. Stefan's Quintet is an excellent laboratory for investigating these processes common to all galaxies. Tight groups like this may have been more common in the early universe when superheated and falling material fueled extremely energetic black holes known as quasars. Even today, the group's top galaxy, NGC 73199, has an active galactic nucleus, which is a supermassive black hole that is actively accreting material. NERCAM was able to resolve individual stars as well as the galaxy's bright core in NGC 7320, the visual grouping's leftmost and closest galaxy. With NERCAM, old dying stars producing dust are visible as red points. Webb's new findings provide invaluable insights into how galactic interactions may have influenced galaxy evolution in the early universe. The next discovery is a landscape of mountains and valleys speckled with glittering stars, which is the edge of NGC 3324, a nearby young star-forming region in the Carina Nebula. This infrared image, captured by NASA's new James Webb Space Telescope, reveals previously unseen areas of star formation for the first time. Webb's seemingly three-dimensional image, named Cosmic Cliffs, depicts craggy mountains on a moonlit evening. In reality, it is the edge of NGC 3324's giant, gaseous cavity, and the image's tallest peaks are about seven light years high. The spacious area was carved out of the nebula by intense ultraviolet radiation and stellar winds from extremely massive, hot, young stars located in the bubble's center, above the area shown in the image. The blistering ultraviolet radiation from the young stars is gradually eroding the nebula's wall. Dramatic pillars rise above the glowing wall of gas, resisting the radiation. The steam that appears to rise from the celestial mountains is hot, ionized gas and hot dust being emitted from the nebula as a result of the relentless radiation. Webb detects emerging stellar nurseries and individual stars that are completely hidden in visible light images. Webb's sensitivity to infrared light allows it to see these objects through cosmic dust. Some of these young stars produce protostellar jets, which are visible in this image. Red dots appear in the cloud's dark, dusty region, indicating the youngest sources. Objects in the early, rapid stages of star formation are difficult to observe, but Webb's extreme sensitivity, spatial and resolution imaging capability can document these elusive events. These observations of NGC 3324 provide insight into the star formation process. 
Star formation occurs over time, triggered by the expansion of an eroding hole. The bright, ionized rim moves into the nebula, gradually pushing into the gas and dust. If the rim meets any unstable material, the increased pressure will cause it to collapse and form new stars. Each of these findings serves as a significant process in the general knowledge about the world, thereby highlighting the JWST's exceptional role in the field of astronomy. It doesn't just observe, it transforms our understanding of the universe, pushing the boundaries of what we thought possible. From distant celestial objects to the dance of galaxies and the secrets of the exoplanet atmosphere, the JWST is rewriting the cosmic rulebook. Scientists announced that they had discovered galaxies as massive as the Milky Way in the JWST's images of the universe, just 500 million to 700 million years after the Big Bang. Galaxies nearly as massive as the Milky Way and full of mature red stars appear to be dispersed in deep field images captured by the James Webb Space Telescope during its early observation campaign, causing astronomers headaches. These galaxies, described in a new study based on Webb's first data release, are so distant that the powerful telescope sees only tiny reddish dots. Astronomers determined that they were viewing these star systems in the early stages of our universe, only 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, by analyzing the light they emitted. Such early solar systems are not particularly surprising. Space scientists predicted that the first star clusters would form soon after the universe emerged from its so-called Dark Ages, which lasted the first 400 million years of its existence and were characterized by a dense fog of hydrogen atoms. However, the galaxies found in the web images appeared to be extremely large, with stars that were far too old. The new findings contradict existing ideas about how the universe looked and evolved in the early years, and they differ from earlier observations made by Webb's less powerful predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. With each revelation, the scientific community is buzzing with excitement, fueled by the promise of more exploration and mind-blowing discoveries courtesy of this extraordinary observatory. There are other jaw-dropping findings by the Webb Space Telescope which are notable and diverse. They hold lots of messages about the universe, the galaxy, and lots more. What are these discoveries? Let's find out. Five billion miles away is the SMAX 23. Another revelation in the Celestial Gallery is the most recent impressive image of SMAX 0723. It's a galaxy cluster that's not just a bunch of stars. It's an intricate assemblage of galaxies located at a whopping five billion light years away from the Earth. It's no ordinary cluster, but a slice of the past and a window to the early universe where star clusters threw an evolution party. The James Webb Space Telescope decided to turn its cosmic lens toward SMAX 0723, giving space scientists a notable pass to study the formation and development of galaxies in the early universe. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has provided the deepest and sharpest infrared image of the distant universe to date. Webb's first deep field is a galaxy cluster, SMAX 0723, which contains thousands of star systems, including the faintest objects ever observed in the infrared. Webb's image is roughly the size of a grain of sand held at arm's length, representing a tiny sliver of the vast universe. The combined mass of this galaxy cluster serves as a gravitational lens, magnifying distant galaxies, including those seen when the world was less than a billion years old. The image shows the galaxy cluster SMAX 00723 as it appeared 4.6 billion years ago, covering an area of sky with an angular size roughly equal to a grain of sand held at arm's length. Many of the objects in the image have undergone significant redshift as a result of space expansion caused by the light coming from them due to traveling such long distances. The red shirts of nearly 200 of these objects have been measured to date, with the highest being 8.498. Webb's NearCam brings distant galaxies into sharp focus, revealing previously unseen structures such as star clusters and diffuse features. The deep field captured by Webb's near-infrared camera is a composite of images at various wavelengths totaling 12.5 hours, 
achieving depths at infrared wavelengths greater than the Hubble Space Telescope's deepest fields, which took weeks. This is just the beginning. Researchers will continue to use Webb to capture longer exposures, revealing more about our vast universe. They will learn a lot more about these clusters as they dig into Webb's data. This field was also captured by Webb's mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, and it detects mid-infrared light. Webb's NIR cam has brought distant galaxies into sharp focus, revealing previously unnecessary tiny, faint structures such as star clusters and diffuse features. The light from these galaxies took billions of years to reach us. When we look at the youngest galaxies in this field, we are looking back in time to less than a billion years after the Big Bang. The expansion of the universe stretched the light to infrared wavelengths, which Webb was designed to observe. Researchers will soon discover more about the galaxy's masses, ages, histories, and compositions. Other notable features include the prominent arcs in this field. A galaxy cluster's powerful gravitational field can bend light rays from distant galaxies behind it, similar to how a magnifying glass bends and warps images. Stars are also captured with prominent diffraction spikes, which appear brighter at shorter wavelengths. Webb's MIRI image shows a kaleidoscope of colors and highlights the location of dust, which is a key component of star formation and, ultimately, life. Blue galaxies have stars, but very little dust. The red objects in this field are covered in thick layers of dust. Green galaxies are rich in hydrocarbons and other chemical compounds. Researchers will be able to use data like this to better understand how galaxies form, grow, and merge, as well as why they stop forming stars entirely. In addition to taking images, two of Webb's instruments collected spectra, which reveal the physical and chemical properties of objects, and will assist researchers in determining many more details about distant galaxies in this field. Webb's Near-Infrared Spectrograph NARSPEC Micro Shutter Array observed 48 individual galaxies at the same time, using new technology for the first time in space, and returned detailed information about each. The data revealed that light from one galaxy had traveled 13.1 billion years before being captured by Webb's mirrors. NR spec data also show how detailed galaxy spectra will be from Webb's observations. Finally, Webb's near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph, NIRISNIST Wide Field Slitless Spectroscopy, to simultaneously capture spectra from all objects in the field of view. The results show that one of the galaxies has a mirror image. Another recent observation with the JWST to observe the nearer exoplanet to the Earth gave a clearer image of its fluffy atmosphere to discover new phenomena. What is this discovery? An exoplanet, the WASP-107b. A team of European astronomers, led by researchers from the Institute of Astronomy at KU Leuven, used recent James Webb Space Telescope observations to investigate the atmosphere of the nearby exoplanet WASP-107b. Looking deep into WASP-107b's fluffy atmosphere, they discovered not only water vapor and sulfur dioxide, but also silicate sand clouds. These particles exist in a dynamic environment that allows for rapid material transport. Astronomers around the world are using the advanced capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope's JWST, mid-infrared instrument MIRI, to make groundbreaking observations of exoplanets, planets orbiting stars other than our sun. wasp one row 7 b is a unique gaseous planet that orbits a star that is slightly cooler and less massive than our sun. The planet has a similar mass to Neptune, but its size is much larger, approaching that of Jupiter. This feature gives WASP-107b a fluffy appearance when compared to the gas giant planets in our solar system. The fluffiness of this exoplanet allows astronomers to look approximately 50 times deeper into its atmosphere than the depth of exploration achieved by a solar system giant like Jupiter. The European astronomers took full advantage of the extrasolar's remarkable fluffiness, which allowed them to look deep into its atmosphere. This change provided a window into understanding the complex chemical composition of the atmosphere. The reason for this is quite simple. Signals are much more visible in a less dense atmosphere 
than in a crowded one. Their recent study published in Nature found the presence of water, vapor, sulfur dioxide SO2, and silicate clouds. But there was no trace of the greenhouse gas methane CH4. These discoveries provide critical information about the dynamics and chemistry of this unique exoplanet. First, the absence of a highly flammable gas suggests a potentially warm interior, providing an intriguing glimpse into the movement of heat energy in the planet's atmosphere. Second, the discovery of sulfur dioxide, which is responsible for the odor of burnt matches, was a huge surprise. Previous models predicted its absence, but new climate models of WASP-107b's atmosphere show that its very fluffiness allows for the formation of sulfur dioxide in its atmosphere. Even though its host star emits a small fraction of high-energy photons due to its cooler nature, these photons can travel deep into the planet's atmosphere due to its fluffy structure. This allows the chemical reactions necessary to produce sulfur dioxide to occur. However, that is not all they have observed. Both sulfur dioxide and water vapor have significantly reduced spectral features when compared to a cloudless scenario. High-altitude clouds obscure the water vapor and sulfur dioxide levels in the atmosphere. While clouds have been inferred on other exoplanets, this is the first time astronomers can definitively determine the chemical composition of these clouds. In this case, the clouds are made up of small silicate particles, a substance that humans are familiar with because it is the primary constituent of sand. The lead author, Profrund Keen Devon of Q. Leave said, the discovery of clouds of sand, water, and sulfur dioxide on this soft exoplanet by JWST's Miri instrument is a pivotal milestone that reshapes our understanding of how planets are formed and developed, which sheds new light on our own solar system. She adds that JWST revolutionizing exosolar characterization provides unprecedented insights at remarkable speeds. In contrast to the Earth's atmosphere, where water freezes at low temperatures, silicate particles on gaseous planets with temperatures around 1,000 degrees Celsius can freeze out to form clouds. However, in the case of WASP-107b, with a temperature of around 500 degrees Celsius in the outer atmosphere, traditional models predicted that these silicate clouds would form deeper in the atmosphere, where temperatures are significantly higher. In addition, sand clouds high in the atmosphere rain down. How can these sand clouds exist at such high altitudes and endure? According to lead author Dr. Mitchell Min, the fact that we see these sand clouds high up in the atmosphere must mean that the sand rain droplets evaporate in deeper, very hot layers, and the resulting silicate vapor is efficiently moved back up, where they recondense to form silicate clouds once more. This is very similar to Earth's water vapor and cloud cycle, but with sand droplets. Sand clouds persist in WASP-107b's atmosphere due to a continuous cycle of sublimation and condensation via vertical transport. This groundbreaking study not only sheds light on the exotic world of WASP-107b, but it also pushes the limits of our understanding of exoplanetary atmospheres. It is a watershed moment in exoplanetary exploration, revealing the complex interplay of chemicals and climatic conditions on these distant worlds. JWST allows for deep atmospheric characterization of an exoplanet that has no counterpart in our solar system. We are discovering new worlds, says lead author Dr. Akrene Durek of CEA Paris. Webb's observations on space usually come with expectations and excitement. This time, the most distant galaxy was captured by this telescope, and it indeed holds lots of mysteries. GN Zia 11, most distant galaxy to Earth. Revealed looking deep into space and time, two teams used NASA's James Webb Space Telescope to study the exceptionally shining galaxy, GNZ-11, which existed when our 13.8 billion-year-old universe was only 430 million years old. This galaxy was found with NASA's Hubble Space Telescope. It's one of the youngest and most distant ever observed, plus it's so bright that scientists are struggling to understand why. But with this discovery, some of its secrets are being known. A team studying GNZ-11 with Webb 
found the first direct evidence that the galaxy contains a central, super-huge black hole that is rapidly compiling matter. This discovery makes this the most distant active supermassive black hole discovered to date. The principal investigator, Roberto Maiolino, of the Cavendish Laboratory and the Kavli Institute of Cosmology at the University of Cambridge in the United Kingdom, expressed that they found extremely dense gas, which is common in the vicinity of huge accumulating gas. He said these were the first clear signatures that GNZ Wewen had, a black hole that is gobbling matter. Using Webb, the team also found evidence of ionized chemical elements, usually found near destroying huge black holes. In addition, they noticed a powerful wind produced by the galaxy. These high-velocity winds are usually caused by processes associated with rapidly closing black pits. According to Hannah Ubler, another investigator from Cavendish Laboratory and Kabul Institute, Webb's NIR CAM, near-infrared camera, has revealed an extended component tracing the host cluster and a central thick source whose colors are consistent with those of an accretion disk surrounding a black hole. With this, Evidence shows that GNZ-11 is home to a 2 million solar mass supermassive black pit in a very active phase of swallowing matter, which explains why the planet is so bright. The second team led by Maiolino used Webb's NIR spec near-infrared spectrograph to detect a gaseous piece of helium in the halo surrounding GNZ-11. Maiolino expresses that the fact we don't see anything else beyond helium suggests that this piece must be fairly perfect. He added that this is something that was expected by theory and simulations in the environment of particularly massive galaxies from these epochs, that there should be pockets of fresh gas surviving in the halo and these may collapse and form a population of star clusters. Maiolino also explained that finding the never-before-seen population of stars, which is the first generation of stars formed almost entirely from hydrogen and helium, is one of the most important aims of modern astrophysics. These stars are expected to be big, huge, and extremely hot. Their predicted features include the presence of ionized helium and the absence of chemical elements heavier than helium. The formation of the first stars and galaxies represents a notable moment in cosmic history as the universe evolved from a dark and relatively simple state to the highly structured and complex environment we see today. Space adventures and intriguing discoveries won't be possible without a standard space telescope. Such technologies have been developed and reformed over them. What are they? What will they offer? Space adventures through space technologies. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, designed to give the world a glimpse of the universe as it existed when the first galaxies formed, was launched by rocket early Saturday from South America's northeastern coast, ushering in a new era of astronomy. The revolutionary $9 billion infrared telescope, hailed by NASA as the premier space science observatory of the next decade, was carried aloft inside the cargo bay of an Ariane 5 rocket that took off from the European Space Agency's launch base in French Guiana at approximately 7.20 a.m. EST, 12.20 GMT. The flawless Christmas Day launch, with a countdown in French, was broadcast live on a joint NASA-ESA webcast. After a 27-minute journey into space, the 14,000-pound instrument was released from the upper stage of the French-built rocket and it will gradually unfold to nearly the size of a tennis court over the next 13 days as it sails on its own. A camera mounted on the rocket's upper stage captured live video of the web as it was jettisoned, showing it gently moving away high above Earth. Flight controllers confirmed moments later that Webb's power supply was operational. The Webb telescope will travel through space for two more weeks before arriving at its destination in solar orbit which is one million miles from Earth, and four times the distance between Earth and the Moon. In comparison, Webb's 30-year-old predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, goes around the Earth from 340 miles away, passing in and out of its shadow every 90 minutes. 
The Webb Telescope was named after the man who oversaw NASA for the majority of its early years in 1969. The telescope is approximately 100 times more sensitive than Hubble and is expected to transform scientists' understanding of the universe and our place in it. It will primarily observe space in the infrared spectrum, allowing it to peer through clouds of gas and dust where stars are born. Whereas Hubble has focused on optical and ultraviolet wavelengths, NASA is leading an international collaboration on the telescope, which includes the European and Canadian space agencies. Northrop Grumman Corporation was the primary contractor. The Ariana Space launch vehicle is part of Europe's contribution. Webb was developed for $8.8 .8 billion, with operational expenses expected to bring the total cost to around $9.6 billion, far exceeding NASA's previous goal of a 2011 launch. What are your thoughts on these fascinating discoveries by the Webb Telescope? Leave them in the comment section, and also like, share, and subscribe for more related content.